Hello friends, welcome back to Endo Tales from Life. In this video, we are going to do a product review about a file retrieval system launched in the market recently. And we are also going to compare the system with the other systems in the market and also a do-it-yourself simple method of or simple version of the same. So as always, it's going to be an unbiased product review and we are going to review the ICR system or the intracanal retrieval system by Unique Dental Solutions and it's basically a micro loop method of instrument retrieval. So the kit comes like this, there are four metal needles and an instrument retrieval cartridge and a long wire which can be cut as per need. So before we talk about the product, we need to know the indication for using these micro loops. So to use these micro loops, the instrument has to be first mobile or loosened by using ultrasonics. So only after the instrument is exposed and only when the instrument is moving, these loop methods are going to be useful. So to use this ICR system, they provide a long loop of wire which can be cut based on need. So in general, a 5 to 6 centimeter of wire is going to be sufficient. I mean 5 to 6 inches. And we need to make a micro loop for which the free end of the cut wire, the both free ends of the cut wire needs to be inserted through the cannula of the needle. So even this procedure may require some magnification because the cannulas are pretty thin and the wires are also very delicate to handle. So you can see I am making the loop through my microscope. And I am showing it in real time so that you can see how difficult it is to make this micro loop. It is not easy if you are going to do it with naked eye. And once, once you push both the free ends in. You need to gently push the wire without deforming the wire without making acute bends so that both the free ends can be pulled from the back side of the needle. So here we are both the free ends can be now pulled from the rear end but we should also make sure the loop has to be retained, it should not get pulled. So it's generally recommended. Here I'm using a DG16 probe, you can use any probe or a small metal instrument to make sure the loop is not lost. And now we can secure the free end in the back of the needle to the cartridge. So there is a slot available where I am going to secure the free end of the knee, of the wire securing it pretty nicely and uh, also you can see that uh, the other end has to be secured with a probe or any instrument so that the loop is not lost and once I secure the free end to the cartridge I also make a double knot so that it does not slip when I am trying to pull the uh, the pull the cartridge for retrieving the instrument and once again I am making sure I have a nice smooth loop with the help of a DG16 and as you can see here the loop is not of a proper shape and this is the button present in the cartridge which can be pulled down to tighten the loop so if I need to tighten the loop, I do so with the help of a stride probe. So that I get a required loop or an, uh, or an appropriate diameter matching the instrument in the canal. 
and now I can slowly tighten the loop by pulling the button in the cartridge and the handpiece. So this is how the ICR system works. Now let me show you a do-it-yourself version which can be an alternate to this ICR system. This can be fabricated in your practice yourself. All you need is 23 gauge needle, a Leo lock syringe conventionally used for administering a local anesthesia and ligature wire with which you can form a loop the same method that we described earlier and since the ligature wire is secured to the plunger of the syringe when you withdraw it tightens the loop and this can also be used to remove instruments that are already loosened up using ultrasonics so this may look little crude compared to the uh, actual ICR version but this may also work for instruments that are really nice loose and in an accessible area of the tooth so at the end of the day what I want you all to take home is that uh, instrument retrieval is a very serious business and it's not easy without magnification but the aim of this video is to just show the mechanism and indication of these micro loop methods and what a general practitioner can uh, do when an instrument fractures and if it's in the coronal third when you can visualize it and you can see it's moving but you cannot pull it out these systems can be useful here is another version of the DYA method where I've just used the syringes or the needles that come along with uh, the etchants and flowable composite to form a micro loop to pull out the silver points from uh, this particular case. So there are also other commercially available products. Uh, this is called the BTR pen which has prefabricated loops uh, unlike uh, the other methods that we have discussed now where we need to fabricate the loop ourself here in BTR they come with prefabricated loops that can be attached to the cartridge but apart from that the working mechanism is almost similar to this ICR system that we already discussed and so since this uh, micro loop is prefabricated this system is little expensive you can see it's 67,000 rupees Indian money whereas the uh, instrument retrieval kit the ICR system uh, is almost 18,000 rupees in Indian money. The do-it-yourself versions may be very economical but it's not as easy as you can see in this video. So the main aim of this episode is to highlight about the micro loop method and its indication and also review this comparatively economical product in the Indian market. And that is the ICI system by Unique Dental Solutions.